Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another crafting tutorial. And in today's video we're going to be building another vehicle, this time for the Bellonite Enforcers in our Necromunda project. This vehicle you see right now. I really am pleased with the results and uh, I will be making a few more to fill up my uh, precinct fortress that I'm building. Cool, isn't it? Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to quickly take you to the crafting table and show you how you can scratch build a nice cool looking riot armored vehicle for the Pelonite Enforcers. So let's dive down into the underhive and let's do this! Come on! Alright my friends, let's get another Necromunda build on the way with this armored vehicle, this riot car. And we're gonna begin with a template and it does not need to be this one, just pick yourself a car or a vehicle that you like. Print that out to the scale that you want it and uh, cut away the template. <coughs> just make sure when you print the template you really have the side view of the car or the vehicle. Just go to Google Images type uh, any type of vehicle that you want and get a side view from it. Now once you cut the template I'm gonna glue this on a piece of cardstock with a glue stick. Gonna be a lot of cutting and gluing. <laughs> Let's glue it on and again I'm gonna cut the cardstock template. And now we're gonna take, when that is done, a long piece of cardstock. Now decide on the width of the front of the car and I'm going to make mine 7 centimeters wide as it is an armored vehicle. Now mark the 7 centimeter on the cardstock in the center part and make sure you have enough room to trace your template on both sides plus an additional 7 centimeters. It will become clear once you see what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm going to center the template and I'm going to draw two lines, top and bottom, to keep the template leveled, which is important. Now trace the template and then flip it over once you've traced one side on the other side of the 7 centimeters you previously marked out. This is basically to create a mirror image, as you can see me do here. <coughs> Sorry for my nasal voice, I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> like this and now in the back of this car I'm going to add the uh, additional seven centimeters and I'm making them uh, equal with the bumper parts of the car both in the middle as on the back as you see I'm gonna do the middle here which is the front bumper connect the bumpers Connecting the bumpers in the front here, like so. Alright, now I'm gonna cut out the door on the original template and trace this on the large cardstock. Then proceed to cut out the large template. Uh, take care not to cut through the cardstock, keep it as one big piece. Again, it is important to do that. Now you get the idea of how it is supposed to look like. And uh, one last time, we're going to trace this template again. <laughs> Sorry, last time, I promise. <laughs> so now we're going to use a piece of tin card box, uh, tin cardboard. Sorry, a pizza box or uh, a shoe box. Just make sure that it's tin cardboard. It's, it's, uh, the back end of a toy that came in a box, whatever works. Just make sure it is tin card cardboard, and then cut it out. I'm also tracing the windows here on this. Uh, cardboard template and I'm gonna cut them out uh, the windows the doorways and I'm gonna cut them out as well now the framework is done now for the fun part let's build this car Here you can see two of uh, the guys standing inside of it now I'm gonna cut a piece of XPS foam that is seven centimeters wide so it can reinforce the cardboard frame make sure it does not surpass the open doors of the vehicle in length the support block will look like this now I'm going to hot glue this in the back part of the vehicle. And let's make some wheels. Now to make the wheels I will use wooden spools. These are very cheap and can be found in any craft store. Uh, I will make the axles uh, for the wheels with this. Just I'm taking uh, two short pieces for one axle and one longer piece as you see me do here. I will hot glue these together. 
and I'm going to use these uh, anti-slip for furnitures, which are self-adhesive, and I'm going to use these to create my wheels. I also hot glued reinforcements at the hood of the car and then glued the spools underneath the car with hot glue, as you can see here. Just attach them with hot glue, works perfectly well. Don't keep your hot glue too hot or you will melt the foam. Next I glue on the wheels and later on I'm using uh, two of these uh, anti-slips for the wheels as I found that one was too, too thin actually for the type of vehicle I'm going for. Just hot glue these on. I also use the self-adhesive part. Now I take two paper drinking straws and bend them into an exhaust pipe shape and I also fill them with hot glue so they uh, remain and keep their shape. Also cut it at an angle below the car as you see here and then just glue it on. Do this of course naturally on both sides. Doesn't look like much now but we'll get there. Right now I take more thin card but cardboard sorry and cut a long strip that is seven centimeters wide starting at the front bumper and we also going to glue this on the car to close it up now split this into sections if you prefer i kept the roof separate it makes for easier gluing then i simply cut it away with my scissors now the doors previously cut i'm now gluing as rear passenger doors again with hot glue we'll clear away the wisps later Next I cut a piece of uh, 5 cm long by 4 cm wide cardboard and I cut it in half, which is 2 cm. On each piece I mark out 1 cm on the top and 2 on the side and I cut this at an angle as you see me do here. And then I'm going to bend it into shape. Just give it a little curve and these will be the front wheel caps, wheel guards. Just glue them on. I don't know what it's called in English but I call them wheel guards. <laughs> I take another piece for the roof and mark out the size of a, a coffee lid and cut the shape out. Just cut away the circle here. You don't have to do this but it adds a little bit more. This will be for my antenna. Just cut it away and we're gonna hot glue this on top of the roof as well. Like so. Now I cut out a rectangle for the windshield out of a drywall mesh tape and I'm gonna cut out a piece of cardstock to glue around it. Make it the same size as the windshield and cut away uh, the piece that you want to be uh, the mesh tape just for a, a reinforced window of the armored vehicle. Just cutting it out like this. And I'm gonna glue this on. I also glue a front bumper, a square for the hood to add more details and some plastic, plastic mesh as a grate for the front of the car. The plastic canvas, plastic mesh, I'm attaching that with super glue so it doesn't get all that messy with the strings of the hot glue. Next, I cut four small pieces from a paper drinking straw to, <laughs> sorry for my uh, expressions, to create the headlights. And I'm also gluing a lollipop stick at the front bumper as well, just to add more uh, details and more, yeah, three dimensional pieces. Glue a cardboard rectangle on the truck as well. Ignore the light in the back because I removed that later. <laughs> and as you see, I also glued some uh, plastic mesh on the inside to create uh, armored windows. This pipe will go in the center. Now I also created rear wheel guards, a step at the front door. I glued on three cardboard strips on the roof and one at the front that are one centimeter wide. Also added more details to the car. Use whatever you want to do this. See, I extended the back of the car as well at the bottom side and now I start by gluing on a lot of details. Also I trace the top of the template to hide the corrugation of the car. As you see me do here. Some uh, big paper drinking straw at the front. Basically I know this is going fast but I'm just attaching details. This will differ for everyone. I created some rear view mirrors here. Uh, some side mirrors. Added on some of these, uh, these metal studs. I uh, doubled up the wheels, glued a piece of foam at the back, uh, something that will be for uh, rear tail lights, a spoiler on top, a second exhaust. Now I am going to cover everything that is uh, of pink foam, pink isolation foam, I'm going to cover that with glue 
so it doesn't melt the foam when I spray it all black. But again, these details will vary for everyone. Just uh, be creative. I also glue the wooden block on the front of the hood. Here you can see one of uh, the enforcers, scale-wise. It is an armored vehicle, so it is bigger. You can transport, in my game, we can, you can transport about uh, six of these guys. Now let's paint our riot car. First, prime it all black. There you go, and as you can see, what did I do more? I attached more of these uh, beads on top. I glued on an Aquila, uh, a gun, and also um, a, a flag on top, just to add some more details to the car. But you don't have to do that, but a gun is always nice to add on. As you can see, the spray paint is still wet. But yeah, it's starting to tape sh take shape. <laughs> Now, before painting, I glued on a transparent pipe for the siren and uh, some toothpicks to create my antenna. I covered a piece of uh, cardboard around it and uh, attached some uh, rims to the wheels. The pipe is just a piece of uh, epoxy glue that has dried out for, that I'm going to use for uh, the, the red and blue lights of the police siren car. I'm calling it police, but they are enforcers. Now, let's paint this guy up. So for the paint scheme, I basically use the same guide as the armor for the Palanite enforcers. And I'm going to begin by painting uh, most of the car in a uh, dark reaper, then creating the yellow lights with Everland Sunset, the yellow parts with Everland Sunset. But don't have to uh, exactly follow what I do. Just be creative on how you want to do it or so they match your enforcer uh, squad. This is just how I do it. See, it's a nice contrast. Now for uh, the sirens, I'm using a blue and a red contrast for the police lights. And lit belcher is used for all metallic parts. And after that, I stipple on brown uh, paint at the bottom parts and also some splashes of uh, sterling mud texture paint as well to create some more, uh, yeah, texture. <laughs> as you see me do here. Painting it all up, but just paint him the way you want it, of course. I'm also painting the Aquila in uh, Lead Belcher. Stippling on brown paint all over the car to make it dirty and more grimy as it is driving around in the underhive. So it won't be a clean car, of course. The windshield. Here I have uh, the painting some contrast uh, paint on the symbol that I printed out of the enforcers and I'm gonna attach that to the two doorways with some uh, white glue and stipple on some more sterling mud basically and then I p cover everything with a light brown uh, wash painting the taillights red the headlights white and we are done <laughs> and here he is nice and grimy a car for the palanite enforcers and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you all for watching and all your support um, more to come this was just to tie, a, tie you over to giving you a few crafts in between while I'm working on my big palanite uh, enforcers precinct fortress so uh, hope you will stay tuned for that and I hope to see you soon all right thank you all for watching and again for reaching 3000 subscribers even more now your support really means a lot to me. Thank you very much. And I will see you on the next video. All right, guys. Bye for now. Bye.